So I got a new heater this year for the greenhouse. This is a 16 by 32 greenhouse. The frame was um, bought by Grower Solution. I've been using this heater about four days now. We've been in the 20 degree uh, temperatures here. There's frost all on the sides, except right there. And I have this new heater. It's specifically made for greenhouses. And it has a thermostat control. Blows out fan. You can also just put it on a fan. I got this off of Amazon. It goes out to 1.5 watts, 1,000 watts. Got a little stand on, you can adjust it. I really like this because so far everything is holding up. Only one time did I put like a frost freeze protection. And I put it over um, tomatoes. Last night I didn't, it was like 20s, little low 20s. And I could see it hit the tomatoes on the, on the bottom of the leaves. But it's not too far from the little heater here. And I only have one in here. The guard lights was not on all night long, just this fan. And I really do like this so far. I haven't usually with this type of temperatures. Of course, I have bubble wrap insulated full here onto the size cut. Then I use um, little wires that you put up in your joists to hold insulation. And so these have been on here about, about four days now. And I've turned the grow lights on in the morning time because their sides are, are not getting any sunlight from a plant that's on the side. And plus I have wood on the very ends also. So, you know, that kind of blocks out the sun, but it also adds a layer of protection. Here, I don't have any insulation on this part. Then over here, I have like that styrofoam type um, insulation I've kept year round. It's looking good. And I had an extra piece of bubble wrap full insulation. I just put it right there. So that's a good idea. I might, you know, cut some for the other ends. And then I have it down here. And these are very flimsy, so if you move them around a lot, they're going to break. The potatoes are holding up pretty well. Nothing's been on top of these plants at all. They've just been, they're just here. No lights at nighttime, so the uh, grow lights do produce light. I mean, excuse me, produce heat. And uh, so I, I didn't do that, but I do turn the lights on in the morning time. To make sure everything's generating a, a, enough light throughout where everything's getting enough light throughout and there's enough light being generated but this heater is working great uh, the temperature right now i just came in here is 40 degrees and we was at i think it was 22 last night so our temperatures have been in the 20s um, and it's gonna stay like that for probably another week. So I got this off of Amazon, I'm trying to see the name of it. it. Comes with a little pamphlet here that's not just paper, it's got a coating onto it. it tells you how to start it, um, how to install, how to troubleshoot. The little thermostat is just hanging here because, and it's showing 39.3, no, 0.2, I thought I seen three. So point 39.2, my thermostat says 40, 40 degrees. I'm trying to see a name on this. I'm not sure, it just says um, greenhouse heater with thermostat. And it also gives you an optimum temperature chart for whatever you're growing. I don't really see a name. I was thinking about that when I walked in here. Just 
just says fan heater but it's doing great um i was considering another one uh maybe down there we're gonna see how this does usually i'll have two like house heaters in here one at one end one at the other sometimes i had because since one didn't have like a uh, a fan to it. I think it was like a radiator type oil heater and I will put a fan. But I tried to make sure that um, the air stays circulated into the greenhouse when it's cold. And so a little bit later I'll turn that fan on even though it's cold outside. It's not going to get very warm today and that keeps the air circulating in here not still cold air. But what I like about this is that it has that fan there and so it's blowing air obviously of course heat rises so there's no ice right there now the sun just came up and so the the humidity and the, the everything's starting to melt which is good now the humidity and the ice and everything will stay um, dripping like that side right there is nothing but ice So I just want to show you this little heater. I don't see a name for it, a name variety, but you got the picture for it and maybe you can find it on Amazon. Um, they got them on sale right now, less than what I paid for it. I wish I'd known. They dropped the price, I think it was about $40. So that's, that's very um, encouraging. And, if, and then when you get finished with the greenhouse, then you could take and just use it inside if you want to. It does have it where you can control, you know, your how much um, heat do you want to come out. And so now, um, since it's 40 degrees in here, I'll just unplug this and I'm going to turn that fan on so that all the humidity... And the water just starting to drip since the sun came up. Uh, you can kind of help out with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on to the next video. I've been picking some oranges. I got one on the inside and watching them. The cold makes them turn um, orange. And so I picked one yesterday, and I didn't know it still had a little bit of green on it. So I love growing these oranges. But the greenhouse is doing super well. Like I said, the only thing I've seen is on the end of these tomatoes here, the tips. And, of course, they're out of season. And then we got cabbage. we got broccoli, cauliflower, celery, marigolds, um, onions, carrots. These carrots are not um, bowed down like they are outside from that frost. Now, the potatoes out there in the raised bed that had a, a row cover on it, one of those... I looked up on it yesterday. I hadn't lifted it up in about three days. But I lifted it up to put some water up under there. And it's supposed to be frost freeze protection, but, uh, and it has bows onto it, but it still hit those potatoes. But in here, that's a potato. That's, I believe that's a purple potato. These are broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce. Everything looks super wonderful. Super, super wonderful. I've got to crop some um, some lettuce here. And I, I pulled some carrots yesterday. My green stalk over there is just ready, ready to be harvested. That's what I'm definitely going to be doing that today. I'm going to go over there and turn that around a little bit so those lettuces can uh, get some proper sun at the bottom. And these potatoes here, I cropped the top off of them because, you know, potatoes grow tall and they start falling over. So this year I just tried to crop some of the tops off of them. If they freeze outside, you know, say frost hits them, just take and cut those, uh, that flowering off, the, the, the plant top off, and they should produce back. Well, I can go ahead and open this up. I think I'll just leave it shut for a little bit since I got my heat in there. It is cold out here. It was, my fingers are freezing. 
see how the carrots are laying over. And they don't want to hurt them. But that frost did hit them last night. And then over here is where I planted potatoes. And I got a few that came up. That's why I went and put the bows on. And it, you see the frost onto the top of it. But it hit those potatoes. I went ahead and harvested my mustard. And of course with this frost, it still hit it. But um, I wasn't sure how well. that I've got um, quite a few good harvests here. And that's the cabbage collards. So we've had some hard cold here. We've got some raised beds that are in the making. But the heater is super wonderful. I'm glad I made that investment. Uh, I got started with having a heater in the greenhouse. It did not be specifically made for a greenhouse. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on to the next video.